So the thesis is that aluminum foil blocks cancer cell phone radiation, also produced by routers, modems, cancer Wi-Fi, cancer LAN, local cancer area network. Like we see here, it's an actual modem. At the moment, the LAN is switched off. And for this experiment, we first measure with this radiation measuring instrument, the HF35C of gigahertz solutions, which shows that the microwelle, the cancer microwave, often has about the same signal as cancer causing Bluetooth, which is around a little below 2500 MHz. Cancer UMTS is around 2000 MHz. And cancer GPS, GSM900 uplink is of course 900 megahertz radar at another frequency you can see that on this gigahertz solution gigahertz solutions hf35c high frequency analyzer so i have to hurry up a little bit we can measure the amount of radiation when pointed at the modem is about 0 0.4 microwatt per square meter it's on Spitzenware, so that means the highest value measured. And it is demodulated. You can also hear that. It's the signal. And when I turn around here in the hallway, we can measure the maximum value. Um, let's see, 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 is about the maximum that I've been able to observe. And then we can put some aluminum foil on a chair in a way that we can reuse the aluminum foil. Hi there. Um, Put the shiny side towards. Oh, that's the other thing, the second thing we want to test. If the shiny side looks more than the other side. So, what I do is I put it on a chair for a while. Like this. It's Aromata. Aluminium foil, sometimes mistakenly called tin foil, um, like that. Now we can do another measurement with the aluminium foil set up like this. The chair with behind it the router, and I'll measure from here so that the aluminium foil is in between the router and. The measuring instrument. Okay, so here we go. Then we switch on the Zyxel modem, the cancer LAN, and I don't call it cancer Zyxel because you can switch off the LAN. You can also use this router with cables, you don't need wireless energy. So here we observe with the measuring instrument what the effect is. Let's see if it will come on. It's possible I did not push it hard enough. There it is. The lamp is already on. More than 2000 microwatts per square meter. I put it on 2000. Oh, it's more than 200 basically. Near the instrument it's more than 2000, near the Zyxel modem. When I take my distance a little bit, say one meter, it's about 400 microwatt per square meter. And then if I keep it in the place where we want to measure, measure is the leisure, without aluminum foil in between it. I switch back to the 199 which is more accurate. Turn it softer a little because the battery 
Plans to plans if I keep it too loud. You can see it's more than well it's not a very steady signal. Over there is more than two thousand. Then I keep it exactly where I will keep it when the chair is away. The chair will be set up like this and then the measuring instrument will be right here. Pointed at the modem. Where I can get the strongest signal from it. I heard another signal. Which might be harp or something else that might try to suppress the signal for this measurement. So they can also control the LCD with wireless energy, so I hope they don't do that. So it's about 58, it's about the maximum I can measure. Over here it's stronger, 80. 47 So then I have to keep it exactly right here the measuring instrument and then we can see without a chair it's about 60 on average below 40 and 80 <coughs> And then with the chair with the aluminum foil in between mm -hmm. the router and the measuring instruments. It's about 13, 20, I as I can get it basically behind the file. So the highest rating is about eighteen, I think I saw. Twenty-five, twenty-eight. So it reduces it with a large amount, but not as much as the cancer GSM and cancer UMTS radiation. So I think the amount is not really enough. I can do a closer test. Put the aluminum foil on the router for example. But there are other people doing that on YouTube so I will need to test Cancer UMTS and Cancer GSM. Because this is not sufficient. I think. Because I want to test also if the shiny side blocks it better than the other side. So what I can do for you is take a piece of file for this experiment and perhaps I will have good use for it. Put it on the wall or some other place. And I have my body to protect it against the strong harm radiation. Also known as high frequency radiation. So I'll do the measurement again. <coughs> Here we see. I, I switch it to 2000 microwatt per square meter maximum for this. And then when I keep it near the cycle modem, it becomes more than 2000 microwatt per square meter clearly. And at about a meter distance. Maximum I can measure is about 1230 something. Oh, there's more. Well, that's when I get closer. 1600 over here. You can see the distance. So, then I will put aluminum foil on it. And then see if we can get below that 2000. This is the shiny side, like that, it's simply dropped on the router, like that, and then I keep the cancer cell phone measuring instrument near it, 
and then we see it is at 0, 20, 0, 8. But I believe that the router may be off. Well, it's still on apparently. Okay, you can see here more than 2000. So it's unbelievable how much ungrounded aluminium. top of it you can hear the demodulated signal is almost practically gone as well I'm gonna have to turn it louder here at the strongest over here more near the sides Hundred fifteen is about the highest reading I can get, but usually even when I keep the measuring instrument near it, <coughs> it's zero twenty microwatt per square meter. When I keep it in the place where I kept it, it's over here zero point nine. Where I kept it without the aluminum foil, this is the exact same position in the middle front of the router as far as I can recall anyway it shows a deliberate uh, I mean it shows a gigantic decrease of cancer cell phone radiation and it proves beyond a reasonable doubt that cancer cell phone radiation is blocked by aluminum foil and this is of the router type and now we're going to <coughs> test the other side of the foil And this is the non sliding side toward the router. Drape on it in a similar fashion, uh, like that. <coughs> this is with the non shiny side toward the router. Then we measure it again. Well, we do measure a difference, which I didn't expect. I think aluminum foil is aluminum foil. It conducts electricity, especially when you ground it. It shields most. But this shows clearly that the shiny side <coughs> should be placed towards the cancer cell phone radiation. So that means a double layer of foil if you're making a beanie on the outside of the head so that it doesn't come in contact with your head so that your head is not turned into antenna is the best way to shield against the cancer cell phone radiation but I have to warn that the scalar waves pass through the cancer cell phone radiation it even hurts my hand the cancer cell phone radiation so I switch it off immediately it was only for this experiment and I test if it is really off with the measuring instrument And when switched off, we are down to, in this 199 micro, microwatt per square meter mode, to 0, 0, 002 microwatt per square meter when I keep it in front of the Zeitzel modem. I can look at the exact time for you if you like, and email me. So, that's uh, the test for today. I'm happy it succeeded. I'm going to upload this to YouTube. And then other people may also test the amount of cancer UMTS and cancer GMSM radiation in their area. Because they have to stay below certain values. In reality it's not legal to produce too much of it. For universal peace of gym.com. So people should be able to press charges of directed energy weapon torture. Since anybody can modify a microwave or thing and radiate their neighbors or themselves or whatever. Um, I place the chair back in the place it was. And I'll go upstairs into my room. But this may be the end.
of the podcast. It's exactly 15 minutes. Universal peace of Yimdao.com.